this is Sunday morning with the angels and we are sharing divine guidance for the week ahead. It is a beautiful week to work again with the love vibration if we see the guidance that is coming through. And I know when we did the journey with Archangel Shamawal and we focused on love every day, how different you view the circumstances, the world, the things around you. And when I drew the cards for this morning, the love vibration is going to focus a lot on relationships. The first guidance we have received, and I love it when this card pops out, the lovers. Look how beautiful that is. The lovers with Archangel Raphael. The message of the lovers is really a time to really explore those deep commitments you have. And yes, it can be in a relationship, in a romantic relationship, but also review the relationships currently in your life. Don't give up on kindred spirit, on those that you love draw into you the people that lift you up, the people that you know is on your journey and that will support you no matter what. And then we also evaluate ourselves and then we ask ourselves, am I that person that can contribute positively to another person's life? Or perhaps am I that person that continuously judges or find fault or see always, you know, sometimes we have this, we default negative and we firstly think of what is wrong or what can go wrong or what is not right. And we focus so much on what is not right and what is wrong with this relationship. Perhaps it's also a little bit time to look at what is right in this relationship? How does it serve you? What are the positives? And then you really want to evaluate and look at it with a grateful heart and look at it from, from a soulmate perspective. Are we in each other's lives for a reason to build each other up, to receive love and gratitude and faith and trust from one another, whether it's visible right there or whether it is the experiences that you have together or what is another person contributing in your life? That is the question for this week. And how beautiful is that, that you can get to this point where you align yourself with positive, inspirational people and people that can build you up and you can do the same for them. And where there is an imbalance, where you are giving way too much than what you are receiving, when you are so fatigued and so depleted, then you have to really evaluate whether that relationship is still serving you. So it's such a beautiful time to really view our commitments, to make decisions from our heart, to work with the power of love, to work with unconditional love towards ourselves and towards the people in our lives. And I'm saying the people in our lives because there is so much separation and there are so much, um, especially with issues that we don't agree on. And the first thing we do is we tend to separate because of judgment. And I'm wondering if we apply understanding if we can live and let live, if we can focus on love, on honor, on respect and truth, even though that differs from your own, if you put that aside, how are we serving one another 
in relationships and really work with the deep commitments you have towards others, for others and from others and really focus on leaning into and gathering together the people that you most align to. Archangel Raphael can assist us here with truthful communication, with healing of the heart, with forgiveness, especially in relationships. So we will journey with Archangel Raphael this week on relationships and we will ask every day for guidance every day so that we can honor relationships in our lives and so that we can also detach and leave stressful situations behind. Because when you gather together with love and there is the sense that we are both serving one another and that there's gratitude and not judgment or frustration, you will both grow in love. And that is the power of love. So also when you make decisions, be sure to listen to your heart. Be sure to tune into your heart and let us make heart-filled decisions in this week. And then the second card was the two of Raphael. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And they are so similar in nature because this message says that there are two hearts that's dedicated to one vision, to one purpose, to working together. And isn't that what we strive for? Even though um, there's disagreement, even though we have different perspectives on different things, one thing that we have in common is a common purpose, a shared vision. And everything around that is compromisable, is negotiable, is love-filled, is understanding, not judgment. So don't give up on those you truly, truly love. Before you do, move into that evaluation that we spoke about. The words here are so beautiful. It says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, like kindred spirits. And kindred spirits is so beautiful. I'm thinking, for example, if we gather together at a retreat, there are kindred spirits. We are all there to connect, to receive, to rest, to relax, to whatever our intention is. We are bound by the same intention. But we are all different individuals with our different hobbies and our different likes and our different dislikes and our different ways of receiving and our different means of connection. But then it doesn't mean that we are not kindred spirits. So when you are evaluating relationships in your life this week, look for that common thread. And also have a look at the love balance sheet, the love bank as I call it. Yes, look at the income versus the expenditure. And you know we talk about love is a currency here. And look at the return on investment and look at the cash flow. Now cash flow, if we look at the love bank, is all about that volunteering energy, that serving energy, that abundance energy. It is the gratitude. It is when we are just in that mode of giving from our heart and serving. And then there is also the income. So how much are you receiving? Yes, in love and in respect and in honor and in truth and in fun and in laughter. And then look at how much you are giving in the same virtues. And does that feel in balance for you? And return on investment is, are we doing things together that is of huge value? For example, like 
a holiday or a weekend away or something that is huge but it is of huge value and good for the relationship so it's such a beautiful beautiful week to nurture relationships to evaluate relationships and to look at those love bank aspects of yourselves and then look at that the queen of ariel now this message is all about nurturing the self and surrounding yourself with beautiful things and beautiful people and the ability to make things beautiful and then we want to take this evaluation from the relationships and now we want to perhaps surround ourselves with beautiful things in our home, in our hearts and be sure to also listen. You know, sometimes we, we really struggle with listening to another's opinion or, or another's viewpoint. Perhaps maybe your husband or your wife or your partner is giving you some real practical advice. Don't shut down on that. Don't shut down on that. Perhaps just listen and work with it and receive it and then see if it resonates with your heart. In other words, have an open heart, have an open mind. You know, listening is pretty much also a love balance sheet thing, isn't it? Do you listen and talk? Do you listen and receive? Do you listen and give? Perhaps sometimes, you know, do we truly listen? Or while someone else is giving their viewpoint or while someone else is talking, we're so busy with what we are um, going to respond or feedback or we are so busy compiling our viewpoint in our head that we don't really hear what the other person is saying. So really it's just that feeling of listening to one another leaning into one another really evaluating the value and in making sure that you nurture the relationship from there what a beautiful beautiful week and it does revolve around yes your existing relationship yes perhaps it's about family matters perhaps it is about friendships it is also the relationship you have with yourself so restore the love balance in this week so the lovers make choices from your heart deep emotional commitments and the power of love how beautiful is that and then the two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. And the Queen of Ariel, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. And if you battle you know, between the mind and the heart and you go, which one must I listen to? The mind, the heart. Give both the mind and the heart airtime. Listen to both without reservation, without judgment. Be grateful for the mind that is in this moment giving you wise and practical advice and receive it and say thank you and then you switch off the mind and then you give your heart a time and then you lean into your heart and you receive in the same manner and you say thank you and then you stand objectively and you look at both sides and you make the decision that feels right listening to both where the confusion comes in is when we listen to the fear more than the truth. Because very often you must just evaluate 
and C. Am I walking away because of fear, because of judgment, because of confusion? Or am I leaning into it because of wisdom, because of practicality, because of unconditional love? So when your mind wins, make sure that it is not fear. That is why we mostly listen to the heart. And when we give the mind airtime, that is the practical side of things, the wisdom, the creativity, the ideas, the alternative different ways of looking at it. And then, if you've made your decision, then just look at your love balance sheet. Does everything feel in balance? But don't give up unless you haven't listened to your heart. You have to give the heart the opportunity to give and receive love. That is what I'm hearing now. You have to give the heart opportunity to give and receive love. The rest is surrounded by guidance and wisdom and understanding and healing. And that specific message was for someone here. Don't be too much in the mind. There is a principle that says when you are out of your mind, you are into experience. And ask yourself, what are you allowing yourself to experience with this relationship? And what experience is you are you is you are you sharing or giving to another? Very important for this week. So really lean into the relationships, nurture them, take care of them, listen to one another and make decisions from your heart and lean into those beautiful, deep commitments.